Welcome back to United USA. We'll be talking about Caravana today, not honoring their agreements and giving titles to their customers. Find the missing car titles or stop doing business in Florida. That is the message state officials have for Carvana. Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Since last summer, Better Call Banking has uncovered the online car dealer was breaking Florida law by not providing titles, leaving buyers unable to drive their vehicles. Shannon Banking joins us now with the very latest. For months, I have worked to help these frustrated consumers get legal registration to drive their vehicles. And tonight, state officials are finally giving Carvana a deadline to get its act together. The clock is ticking for Carvana to fix a title mess that has been brewing all year long. This email obtained by Better Call Bankin shows state officials' patience is wearing thin. It reads, quote, the department remains concerned with Carvana's apparent inability to comply with the provisions of Florida law, writes Robert Nock of the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles. The email goes on to give a deadline. Quote, please be advised that by January 31st, 2022, if Carvana has failed to submit title applications for any sale made prior to December 1st, 2021, the department may commence administrative action to suspend Carvana's dealer license in Florida. Just sits here. This comes after months of my investigations into missing titles that forced some customers to park their cars. He ran this and said that it's not valid. Some were even stopped by police for expired tags. So when Carvana stopped answering my questions and the state allowed this to continue by issuing more temp tags, I took another approach. But no one, it's not really yours. That's I asked not. Florida CFO Jimmy Patronas why the state isn't enforcing its own law that gives dealers just 30 days to transfer title. He reached out to Carvana and then to state regulators. I can understand making mistakes on paperwork, but clear title is pretty much a an understanding. If there's not clear title, how did this car end up in your vending machine? Petronas said he's thankful our Better Call Bank and Reports shined a spotlight on this title mess. You do an amazing job of bringing things to light that sometimes uh, they've got a voice, but you've got a megaphone. And, and, and at the end of the day, you do what needs to happen. You hold not only our state accountable, but you hold our businesses accountable. Carvana has not responded to my request for comment. So how widespread is this problem? Well, that's not entirely clear. Well, they're saying so far Caravana faces two class action lawsuits. Um, so... <clears throat> They're saying it's unclear on how many states this is happening in, but Florida for sure, um, between 100 and 200 cases of people not getting their titles and they purchase their car within their first 30 days or more. It's crazy. You would think with a company this big that they would have their ish together and this wouldn't be an issue. It would be standard operational procedure, basic business practice, but apparently not. I mean, their basic motto is an easier way for shopping for a car, right? direct, straightforward, here's the price, here's what it is, shop, buy it online, go to the dealership, pick it up. Um, and you can see that stuff like this, it just goes to show until the government drops the hammer and gives them an ultimatum like this 30 day deadline. Another example of these big wigs, corporate, uh, that will try to get away with whatever they can until they're told to do otherwise. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit me up below, like and share.